Do you ever think in the United States that false information will be something where you strike it from the platform? If we are just suddenly saying, like, we believe this to be true, um, other, I mean, look, like, is the earth flat? Like, I think most people think it's flat. I mean, I think it's round. It. But, but there are people out there who think, who think it's flat. The rapper B.O.B. has started a GoFundMe campaign so that he can prove the earth is flat. <laughs> we don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society. Flat Earth people who are just, they are so stupid. So stupid. Can I say dumbass? <laughs> the world's not flat. If the flat earth theory is so ridiculous, then why? Does it need to be censored? There are these online corners of the internet that spread, that start these conspiracy theories, and then it sort of seeps into the mainstream dialogue. But I'm showing it here. When there are videos that are that are focused around something that's a conspiracy, next to the video, information from Wikipedia. Why, why was she banned for just stating a fact? Well, first we. This was a mistake. Information that is counterfactual, such as searching for the Earth is flat on YouTube, where you see a lot of... Your response is to put a box saying, nope, the Earth is not flat. Correct. Okay. So welcome back, everybody, including all of my brand new subscribers who have found me through my woman hits man, man hits back reaction videos. Now, if you thought those videos were heavily censored by YouTube, well, it appears the company now has a new target flat earth videos. In a statement released today, Friday, January 25th, YouTube announced its new commitment for 2019 to crack down on what it calls borderline content, stuff that, quote, doesn't quite cross the line of violating our community guidelines, but does get close to it. As a result, YouTube says it will begin, quote, reducing recommendations of borderline content and content that could misinform users in harmful ways, such as videos promoting a phony miracle cure for a serious illness, claiming the earth is flat, or making blatantly false claims about historic events like 9-11. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. You people who believe in the globe, you globe defenders, you guys need corporate welfare from YouTube in order to beat flat earthers in a debate? <laughs> but you know what? It makes sense that globe tards need intellectual welfare. I mean, when you've got people like Joe Rogan's friend and professional debunker, Mick West, who's appeared on Joe's TV show and podcast multiple times. Mick West getting destroyed by flat earthers in a live debate. You know it's time to intervene. First, yeah, the R value I'm not, specifically. Which R is I'm giving you here? I'm not giving a science. You, you're joking. But there's a lot of baltards out there that seem to think you are giving them science, Mick. No, this is actually the... Sorry, what is the use of double-checking an assumption? What on earth are you talking about, you blithering idiot? Well, it's the standard model. Sorry, also... the standard model has no scientific evidence. You only assume a value of R. Correct, Mick? For crying out loud, man. And speaking of YouTube censorship, that clip you just saw was from the Nathan Oakley YouTube channel. And they've been hit with a bunch of censorship, dubious community guidelines strike, copyright strikes. Um, but it's a fantastic channel. They do live debates seven days a week. Anyone can join, flat, globe, whatever you believe, and debate it. It's incredible. I'll put a link down below. I mean, for over a year now, we have seen that whenever you go to YouTube and you type in flat earth, you get nothing but rigged results debunking Flat Earth from mainstream sources. And you know, I have to wonder if Logan Paul is going to be pissed off because in case you didn't know, he announced that he's going to be releasing a Flat Earth documentary by the end of this month, January. Speaking of which, where the hell is Logan Paul's documentary? It's already January 25th. Uh, Logan's got less than a week to release this thing. And you know, I have to wonder if maybe Logan might backpedal because it reminds me of how Kyrie Irving, who used to come out and talk about Flat Earth all the time, he had to backpedal 
because he was under pressure from the mainstream media, but also, according to him, teachers who were angry at him because their students were asking the teachers deep questions about the heliocentric model and the globe. So yeah, I'm sorry about all that, you know, for all the science teachers, everybody coming up to me like, you know I gotta reteach my whole curriculum, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Wow, imagine that. Teachers angry because they have to teach. I mean, you'd think with all that spare time, Christmas vacations, summer break, like three months off, you'd think you'd have a little more time to focus on doing what you're actually there to do. Dispel falsehoods and teach people what you know is the truth. Of course, we also had uh, the backpedaling of Stephen Curry who came out and said the moon landings were fake and then quickly retracted under pressure from the media. Why all of this censorship for something as ridiculous as the flat earth theory? I mean, where are the calls to censor like Bigfoot videos? Or how about aliens? Well, there is no call to ban these and the, uh, the reason is obvious. Because if a couple rednecks want to believe that there's, you know, they're being chased by Sasquatch or that there's little green men in the woods, I mean, no one gives a crap. Let them have their fun, right? No one cares. ...by bizarre subjects. Chemtrails, UFOs, Bigfoot. We're going to go deep, deep, deep into all these crazy subjects. But if people want to believe the Earth is flat... Suddenly, it's a major societal crisis we have to run damage control on. You can literally believe some of the most out-of-this-world ideas. You can believe that the entire universe blew up from nothing in the Big Bang. You can believe in various religions. When, when you die, you're going to go to heaven and, and meet the Creator. I mean, you could even believe that gender is just a social construct. Uh, cue Bill and I, the freaking science guy. But whatever you do... Don't you dare believe the Earth is flat. Is the Earth flat? Like, I think most people think it's flat. I mean, I think it's heard. round. But you know what? Maybe Susan Wojcicki's onto something. Maybe most people do think the Earth is flat. I mean, after all, Neil deGrasse Tyson is on video saying you cannot see the Earth's curvature from 35,000 feet, the average commercial airliner height. I mean, shit, he's on video saying you can't see it, the curvature from four times that height. That stuff is flat. So maybe it's time to crack down on flatter. Maybe it is time to do teachers' jobs for them. And maybe it's time to start artificially boosting and promoting any YouTubers who dedicate themselves to debunking flat earth and defending the globe. But at the end of the day, if you need all of that welfare just to defeat some flat earthers, then maybe you're the idiot in this debate. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, click the little bell so you get notified and bypass YouTube's algorithmic censorship. And of course, as always, be sure to pick yourself up one of these incredible That Stuff Is Flat t-shirts. They are a hilarious troll, and it helps support this channel. Thank you, guys. I travel a lot, and I fly a lot, and I can see the curvature okay. when I fly. Okay, so 35,000 feet, you can see it, right? That's what you're saying? Generally speaking, I can see a slight curve to it, yeah. Okay, so Neil deGrasse Tyson says that you can't see it at that altitude, so I really... This really doesn't matter. We have, probably we have I'm satellites. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is flat. That stuff is warm. Don't get me started.